Nick. Yep. Thanks, guys. Okay. So today class, we are going to discuss a, a detail about delete. Okay. In the next video, we'll discuss a difference between the delete, truncate, and drop. Okay. So for now, we are going to discuss about the uh, detail about the delete. And if you delete some uh, records, how to roll back the data. Okay. The beauty of delete command is so you can delete the data. And if you by mistakenly delete the data, you can roll back it also. Like how you delete the some files in the uh, suppose you have deleted by mistakenly this demo class. Okay. And where it will be stored, it will be stored in recycle bin, right? From there you can restore, right? So I have deleted the demo, uh, demo file and then I can uh, restore it. The same way, so you can do the, you can delete some records and then you can restore it by using delete, okay? So I will do that you know, practically, okay? So if you select the customer table, okay? These are the customer table data we have, okay? These are the customer table data we have. So I'm uh, deleting, okay? Delete means, so delete syntax means delete from a table, okay? Table means here we have a table, delete syntax, delete from table, okay? See, that is the syntax base, okay? And, and also we, we can delete entire table and also we can delete entire table, okay? If you want to restore the data, okay, you have to start with begin tran, okay? Begin tran, begin tran. Begin tran or begin transaction, anything is fine. And if you want to delete entire table, you can delete it, okay? The total data will go, okay? The total seven rows affected, see. If you want to roll back all the data back, okay, you can use the roll back. Okay, just roll back, execute only, roll back. The seven rows will be, okay? So just see that, okay? The seven rows, again, you will restore, okay? That is the beauty of a delete case, okay? And also you can individually delete a records, okay? You can individually delete whatever the record you want to delete, okay? By using where class, you can delete that, okay? But without tran, you cannot get the uh, rollback data, okay? Suppose if I delete uh, second record without the uh, begin tran, so we cannot restore that, see, see that, okay? If I delete where id is equal to two, where id is equal to two, okay? So if I am deleting this, Okay, after this, if I use rollback command, okay, we cannot roll back the data. Okay, so you should use begin transaction. Okay, so then only we can restore the data. Okay, so this is about the delete. Okay, you can specify the multiple conditions, something CT ID is equal to two and CT is equal to something else and then you can write in where class we have used the different different operators right the operators and you can use all that uh, where class okay where class whatever you have so whose name starts with a so i want to delete that whose name starts with n i want to delete that well card by using well card you can do that and then you can delete the tables okay i don't want to repeat all those same things what we have used in a select statement okay this is about the select now in the next video, we'll discuss about the difference between, okay? Difference between delete, truncate, okay? Delete, comma, truncate, and drop. So what is this a difference between delete, truncate, and drop, okay? Let me, okay? And hope you are uh, understand the uh, delete, guys, okay? Hope you like my video, okay? share and subscribe my channel guys okay for more videos like msbi data warehouse and uh, um, sql and power bi so you can uh, subscribe my channel okay uh, that's